Okay, it's a question. Do you also have the need for pride events and for? Yes, yes, we do. We need we need the pride events um, to be visible. You know, gays and lesbians are invisible uh, minorities, and uh, many people choose to stay invisible and do not run around saying hello, hello, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. And um, so so just to make sure that the general public out there is aware that we exist, we need uh, pride events. But we also need pride events to continually be able to set focus on all the things that still do not work. Take sports, for example. Um, we need the Pride events to be able to discuss the fact that why are there no gay footballers? Why is there no gay people opening out in the national sport of Norway skiing? Um, it's not because they're not there. Why are they not open? So something, since they're not open, since we don't know about them, uh, something keeps them back. And what is that something? What are they scared of? Um, that's just one example. This year we've, uh, we chose to have the Pride event in Oslo, but also the local Pride around the country um, be focused around our um, anniversary. Our organization has a 60 year anniversary this year. And that's been important to be able to focus backwards and tell the story. And we've been moving through um, a political revolution through 60 years, which is actually quite a short time. And um, well, to go from being criminal to having the right to marry in 60 years, that's, that's a speedy process. <laughs> um, so, and it's been very healthy for people to, to look back and say, oh my God, we've come this far. And also say, and also uh, give recognition to those who've been on our barricades and, and and fought the battles and paid high prices of their own lives uh, for us who are here today mm -hmm. to be able to be mm -hmm. as we did. 